This tree is a sweet gum. Sweet gum is not native to the mountains. Here in the mountains, sweet gum is planted as an ornamental tree. Uh, if you head southeast of here, you'll pick up sweet gum pretty quickly. Uh, it makes its way into the middle Piedmont, and it's a very, very common tree on the coastal plain. Uh, sweet gum you can find on a lot of sites, especially anything disturbed, but naturally it's sort of a moist site species. If it were summertime, we would have incredibly easy to identify leaves. The leaves on sweet gum are about that big and, and they're star shaped. They have a serrated leaf edge. And if that's not enough, if you crush up the leaf of a sweet gum, they smell like turpentine. Now, the twigs on sweet gum, fortunately, are very distinctive. Uh, fast growing trees will develop obvious corky wings growing out of lenticels along the twig. So it's obvious cork on fast growing twigs. The, um, the younger twigs, the, uh, the last year's twigs, they're going to be a shiny olive green to reddish, and the buds are very obviously covered in scales, and they'll be shiny scales. Flowers on sweet gum, while they are unique and quite distinctive, they're not terribly showy. The fruits are referred to as gumballs, and they can be produced in such quantities as to make this tree an absolute pest in an urban landscape.